Hey all, Binks here, bringing you another wild Hearthstone deck. Lately I have been playing Even Paladin, and it feels incredibly strong in the meta. It's going to utilize power 4 drops in Dunbaldar Bridge in Called Arms, which work really well together, and the bridge also works really well with our very high value 2 drops. I initially got this deck from Raffle and made some adjustments to add two Shotbots and lower the curve a bit uh, because Shotbots reborn interaction with Dunbaldar Bridge is absolutely fantastic. Uh, one of the true heroes of this deck is Ring of Courage, which helps against any board based deck to give you a huge buff on your minions as they try and compete with you on board and also has a insane interaction with Blade Master Samuro to take out Spreading Plague. And we'll jump in and show a quick highlight of how that can work. I had a really great board, uh, Spreading Plague came down and I was able to use both Ring of Courages to get uh, plus seven, plus seven on my Samaro and my Shotbot to absolutely destroy their board, get a huge lead and go over the top. So definitely try this deck out yourself. I will post the deck code in the comments below. And uh, check me out over on Twitch, Binks underscore plays. Like and subscribe on this video if you want to see more. And please enjoy the content. Mulliganing? They, I mean, I keep these two. Because essentially what I want to do is coin this on three and play this on four. And, I, oh man, because of that, I almost want to just keep a shielded mini bot. This can be annoying for them to deal with. Uh, because they don't want to use their spells on it because it, w it won't trigger the, wh whatever you call it. It won't tr trigger the quest if they hit a divine shield. So I'm trying to think, is there anything I really want more? And I, I honestly don't think there is. R Ruby and Weblord, we want to pull off this call to arms to, to mess them up. So I think we just get rid of this Gen because you never want Gen. <sighs> Hand of a Doll, we might also play on two. But the, I mean, they like, this is almost always Quest Hunter, and 9 times out of 10 they just kill this with one of their items. Or one of their spells. But I still push the button every time. Sometimes they have... Sometimes they have to, like, shoot a... This card... This card? I, I've, I've looked at it and I was like, ah, it seems weird. This card is the star of the deck. This card is so good. I posted a clip on Twitter of me using it with, with Sumaro against um, Spreading Plague. Is is. It's happened three times in 30 games. I think I've only faced like five druids, and I've gotten a Samaro Ring of Courage three times. Which is, it's crazy. So, so this is why I really wanted to keep the shielded minibot here. So he already got his trigger for the first one, right? But if I drop a shielded minibot, he has to shoot this divine shield down. Or you could do something like if he has the 1-1 one, one with a rush, you could shoot that at my face, trade it in, and then ping. But um, if they use any of their weapons on it, and <laughs> people will do it. People will use the, the spells on Divine Shields just because they're uh, they're being quest hunters and just playing playing things. See, they had to waste a whole turn just shooting off a Divine Shield. That's fantastic. I mean, that's I, d I have no idea why you do that second, but uh, that's great. So now now we get to see how this... How this uh, how this works because this this deck is so cool being able to coin that out you, I, I feel like my win rate on the coin with being able to coin that out is probably a hundred percent I might have lost one game that was just like I was so far behind already that like coining that out it, it just made it really tough other than that I mean we're we, we just cruise so it's really great here, right? So they might even get another ping in. They might be looking to try and use that. Uh, they might be trying to get the Tavish Marksman down in five or six. But this can pull four or three, six New Ruby and Web Lords, which just will ruin their lives. Got a four, four Divine Shield, four, four Reborn, and a Knife Juggler. Knife Juggler last always, lol. So if, if he kills this on this turn, or I trade it next turn, I still get the 4-3. If not, I, I do not get it. But I, I think the shop out is a great inclusion. Okay. No Weblords was not good. 
Um, hopefully we get a two drop so we can still drop two two drops and a, and a three three. You know, see, you almost did it. People almost do that shit all the time. That's not uncommon at all. I really want an Arubian Weblord next turn. That would be God to your top deck. Call to Arms, obviously, also God to your top deck. See, th no, there's an argument. I think I always just do it because I don't have a second two drop to play. So I think I'm always just playing this anyway. Which one do I want to protect, though? I think the one with Reborn is better. Probably going to bridge again next turn. So we'll do this. Hope to hit a Weblord. Got Conviction. Honestly, might just rip the Conviction here. Because if he's trying to play Tavish and he's sitting at 12 health with a... Uh, uh, a, a lot of big boys, but I think I want to. I think I want to take advantage of this Dunmar Bridge, or do I just take the Fireball? There, there's a world I just take this Fireball for sure. Maybe I say I'm gonna get a Fireball later, and I just take advantage of the Tavish now, because I mean, him clearing off three of my minions, especially with one having Divine, like he could potentially clear off like the four four and the three three, but he can't really like bullish shot any of them down. I think I'll get my Fireball next turn, so I don't have to worry too much about it. I'd rather just cash in on my bridge early. But yeah, the the Hunter matchup feels really good. Uh, he doesn't have a coin, so this is gonna. I don't. I don't know how he's getting out of this. Oh, GGS. Fireball. Um, let me just double check. 13, 22, okay. Well above. So I guess I had the hand in it all there too. I could have BM'd and added a bunch more damage, but... Yeah, I mean, that's... That is how you want the deck to work, for sure. Ah, I missed one damage because of you. What the hell, Gold Daniel? Just kidding, just kidding. JK, JK. Do you, do you think that the play was to play the Annoitron as opposed to play the two two one one taunts? Because if that's your case, I mean, I I just don't think that's that that's correct. And I, I you keep saying the mini bot, but we, I needed to play a taunt there to protect the four one. Ninety seven percent sure that it was better to play a mini bot and let my four one get traded into for free. Or you th or you think it's the Annoitron? I don't I don't. I guess the annoyed. No, no, I, I don't think that's right. I, I, li I like the percentage chances for the cannon better. Cannons are spooky. Just say you rank tan so you can shut up. You shut up. Um, I kind of want a double knife juggler ping. This might be wrong too, but I mean five fours are not easy to deal with. Even on turn five. Because on turn 5, he's going to have... Wait, no, this isn't Mechathun Druid. I don't know what the hell this is. Must be some kind of Kazaku-san list. It could be Coin Spreading Plague, but coin, I'm totally fine in a Coin Spreading Plague here. I just play Ring of Courage. I just play Ring of Courage on this, Hand of a Doll on this, and I just clear all four. I do like how this turn is looking. I might take my fireball here. I think I start with hand. I'm going to hand here because I want this over four or over three. And I think I, I think I, uh, I think I just take my fireball here. It's tough. 
tough though. Only puts him to like 27. No, I think I just keep drawing. I can cash this in. Uh, there's a lot of times I'll be able to cash this in. It could really help against Spreading Plague. Let's just keep bulking up this this one though. Yeah, call to, call to arms. One turn left. Does that mean that it's gone now? Yeah, that's tough because I would really like them to call to arms. Um, he he could play. No, he doesn't have Mecha Fiend. I keep, I keep forgetting that. He still has Spreading Plagues. Battlegrounds Battle Master would be probably my best draw here. My Guff. He's gonna have two mana. He might just gain another mana crystal. Another second bridge. Aaron the Nar is good here. Get a 6 6 out there. I kind of want to wait for uh, Nar, um, uh, my second bridge to play a lot of these cards, which just might be incorrect. I think I just take my Hammer the Nar here. It just gives me another 6 6. Helps me push some extra damage right now. It's tough. What are my other plays? I could call the arms, obviously. Um, still has coin. It only has four real cards. Call the arm could give me web lords, but I don't think I'll need them. The Rubian eggs. I do want to be wait. Uh, I kind of want to wait for this bridge. Maybe just pull it so I get closer to my other high value cards. Yeah, I'm gonna use it as as draw. I don't even think I coin here. I might, I might be not being aggressive enough. I could also think of trading that Ring of Courage. May I do just trade my Ring of Courage there? Leg. Maybe I did just. Maybe I should have just hammered there. I, I, I want. My thought process is though that I want to get to. I feel like I close this game out by getting a conviction battle master. I think that's how I win. I might have to use the conviction here. I think that I'm probably using the ring of courage here. The plus six plus six for two. It's really good. I just Ring of Courage, Hammer of the Naro. This is my play. Seems really good. I get to clear off one, two, three of them. Get a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, and then I still have my Conviction Battlegrounds Battlemaster plan in play. I like that. I'm going to Hammer of the Naru. We'll Ring of Courage this because it has the extra health that'll help it out. Go here. 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 Uh, and I think I just leave the Divine Shield. Let it chill. That, that was part of the reason why I wanted to get Call to Arms out of there is because like I don't really want to draw my 2-drop minions anymore. And the longer I hold that Call to Arms, the more chances I have to draw them. So ripping them out of the deck will help me get my other Call to Arms, my Blade Master Samaru, which will... Ah! Which will eventually, hopefully, get me through these uh, the second wave of Spreading Plagues that, event that they always have. They always have it on time, too. They're panicking a little bit, which is good for me. I 
I'm scared they have like a spammy... Oh, man. Ultimate infestation. Hopefully they... Uh, thank you for the mana. That will give me a better conviction. I can do a lot of damage this turn. Um, okay, wait. Do we, I think I might have a kill here. I need to trade this and get triple conviction. I kill this. No, no, I don't kill that first. Play Ring of Courage. Here first. Trade here. Triple Conviction. I don't think this is a kill, but this is hella damage. No, it is a kill. Let's go. Get wrecked. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay, all right, 15 head. 